What's up guys? We will now know the uniqueness of different Arduino today. Let's start now! The generic and the branded Arduino Uno R3 comparison Commons Microcontroller USB controller Number of terminals Pin configuration Components of controller board PCB layout PCB quality Memory size and clock speed So first, what is Arduino? Arduino is an open source platform used for building projects Consists of both a physical programmable circuit board and a piece of software or IDE that turns on your computer used to write and upload computer code to the physical board Arduino Uno 3 We will differentiate and find the similarities between these two Arduino the generic one and the branded one Arduino that is made in Italy First and foremost, the microcontroller it is a compact integrated circuit designed to govern a specific operation in an embedded system. It is embedded inside a system to control a singular function in a device it does by interpreting data received from its I.O. peripherals using central processor. At Mega 328P is a high performance yet lower power consumption 8-bit AVR microcontroller that's able to achieve the most single clock cycle execution of 131 powerful instructions thanks to its advanced RISC architecture. At Mega 328 is basically an advanced virtual RISC microcontroller. It supports the data up to 8 bits. These features consist of advanced RISC architecture, good performance, low power consumption, Real-time counter having separate oscillator, they also differ in their structural appearance as you can see in the illustration. Next, the USB controller. CH340C is a TTL to USB converter and vice versa. This chip has been used in some boards such as Arduino boards. The boards using the CH340C chip don't need a programmer in order to access the processor or to program them. For the Atmega 16U2, the ISP flash in chip let the program to be reprogrammed in system by using SPI serial interface. The Atmel Atmega 16U2 is a well-built powerful microcontroller that offers a high flexible and cost-effective solution. Number of terminals and pin configuration. In both PIC, the generic one and the branded one, they have similar specs. The Arduino Uno board has 14 digital I.O. pins full with modulation output. This pin can be configured to work as input digital pins to read logic values or as digital output pins to drive different modules like LEDs, relays, and many more. The Arduino Uno board has 6 analog input pins, A0 through A5. These pins can read the signal from an analog sensor like the humidity sensor or temperature sensor and convert it into a digital value that can read by the microprocessor. Let's proceed in the controller board of the Arduino. It shows some parts like reset button. That's pretty much the same as unplugging the board and unplugging it back in. The USB plug. Arduino board can be powered by USB cable from the, your computer. All you need to do is connect the USB cable to the USB connection. You can see also the 16 MHz quartz crystal, external power supply, and many more. PCB layout. Also called printing wiring cards. The maximum length and width of the UNO PCB are 2.7 and 2.1 inches respectively, with the USB connector and power jack extending beyond the former dimension. Four screw holes allow the board to be attached to a surface or a case. PCB quality For quality check, rigid PCBs are made out of solid material which don't allow PCB from twisting. Same as flex, PCB, rigid PCB also have different layer configuration like single layer, 
double layer and multi layer rigid PCB. Shape of this PCB is not changed after installation. This PCB cannot be bent according to shape of the base, that's why this PCB is known as rigid PCB. Lifespan of this type of PCB is very high, so this is used in many parts of computer like RAM, GPU, and CPU. This both Arduino has similar memory size. First, flash memory, 32 kilobyte non-volatile memory, used for storing application. Second, SRAM memory, 2 kilobyte volatile memory, used for storing variables used by the application while it's running. And lastly, EEPROM memory, 1 kilobyte non-volatile memory. This can be used to store data that must be available even after the board is powered down and then powered up again. When we talk for the clock speed, the Arduino has 16 megahertz. Say your Arduino Uno runs on 16 megahertz, which is 16 million hertz. That means there are 16 million clock cycles per second. The CPU executes the byte code of the program. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.